put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Iron Man 3 movie review. Peter Parker has finally managed to strike up a good balance between him, his you know, own life as Peter Parker and his alter ego of Spider-Man. And things seem to be going well between him and MJ, but the escaped prisoner, Flint Marco, arrested on several counts of looking really goofy when he juts out the lower jaw and shows just the lower row of his front teeth, fearing that the alien symbiote, which is taking a lot of time getting its ass into gear, and once it actually attaches itself to Peter's suit, it doesn't really seem to do much other than make him dance. I know, I know, I've, I've been trying to drill that image out of my head too. I, I can tell you one thing, alcohol is not working. Anyway, Flint is terrified that the film won't have a villain. Yeah, he too kind of ignores the presence of the second Green Goblin. And in desperation, he hurls himself into an unsafe scientific experiment, because that's how villains come about in this series. And he becomes the Sandman, who actually looks rather monstrous, and it's, it's a quite nice, he's, he's very intimidating. And then we have all the various subplots in this that wrestle for control, for screen time. Sandman, in addition to being the villain, in spite of actually being supposedly a, not a bad guy, he's just had some bad luck, which makes you question why he's the villain of the film. He wants to save his daughter, Spider-Man, you know, has all this popularity that kind of makes him ignore MJ. We've got a, you know, a lot of this film, actually, is basically a melodrama complete with a love triangle. Or, or two. Love foursome? I don't know. I anyway. Yes. And... Yes, we do have Venom, we have the whole Black Suit Spider-Man storyline. You know, we, we have Eddie Brock. We have the new Goblin. And so you may be asking, well, which one of these does the movie choose to focus on? And that's when you realize that the word focus is not in this movie's vocabulary. Neither is coherent. I gotta be honest, the first half of this movie, I was really getting into it. This is not my first viewing, don't worry. But actually more so than the first two. And the humor? What little of it there was, thankfully, was actually sometimes funny. This made me laugh more than the second one did. And no, the first one never made me laugh. Not intentionally, anyway. And then we get Emo Peter, and yeah, the, by the way, the love triangle involved Gwen Stacy. Why her? I don't know, 
she's in the comics. She's she's in this for you know just just to be this extra character. She she doesn't really serve any other purpose at all. The action is admittedly quite good, especially the climax, which is really the only thing in the entire Raimi trilogy which I would classify as genuinely epic. And we again get mid-air fighting, Spidey gets to do, you know, big heroics, Sandman gets some really cool, memorable moments. There is, as you may have heard, very, very little Venom, and although they get the look right, in general, the visual aesthetic is still very much, you know, really, really excellent. As are the effects, by the way, definitely the best, you know. You can say that that's kind of obvious and it's the newest film, but it just, yeah. The, part of doing good effects is not trying to do something that you can't do. The first one very much tried to do more than it could do well. The second one, not often, but this one, everything it does looks fantastic. Anyway, yeah, the visual aesthetic. So, Venom looks right, but he doesn't sound right. He's really not anywhere near scary enough, and just, yeah, they, they get stuff really, really wrong with him on everything but the appearance, actually. The... The pacing is not too good. It's, there's kind of... I'd say there's more or less all put together enough action, for example, but it is kind of spaced out a little weird. And yeah, I suppose that pretty well covers it, just the goofiest of the three, although it's actually really, it doesn't have that many goofy moments, but just what there is it's just extremely potent in, in its sheer goofiness. And dancing Peter Parker takes away any morsel of seriousness that, you know, aggressive Peter Parker and aggressive Spider-Man could have, you know, the, with the black suit and all. The main theme is revenge and, you know, versus forgiveness, and it's dealt with nicely enough. Honestly, if, if this was really seriously re-edited and, you know, changed around, maybe new stuff shot, it could actually be a pretty good movie, but as it is, it's just a mess. It, it kind of feels like Sam Raimi just gave up halfway through. I mean, one, one thing is, you know, jamming three villains into one movie. And then add to that that apparently Raimi is really, really not a fan of Venom. So, you know, he only put him in because the producers kept, you know, making him do it. And that's just really an unfortunate situation when you get such an iconic villain and for one thing they do him you know really really wrong but that you know the main driving force behind making the movie really doesn't actually want that you know villain in there so yeah i'd say if, if they had just picked one you know if, if the film had been just about harry wanting his revenge or just about you know the whole thing with the Sandman, or just about the symbiote. You know, each of them could easily have been a film unto themselves, but all three together, that just doesn't work at all. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.